Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella and today I'm going to be doing Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms issue 7. Okay, just to let everybody know that Mortal Realms is 12 plus and is definitely not suitable for children. In Mortal Realms issue 7 you get two paints. The first is a shade, which is a red tinted shade which we've got before in Warhammer Conquest but I'm actually really pleased to have another um, bottle of it and then you also get a layer storm host silver which again I'm really pleased to have it and to have both for just $7.99 bargain here we have my completed storm eternals so far so we've got the sorceress the leader the griffin they've got a mace and shield I've got two of those and then I've got my repeater bolt throwers, for want of better terms, at the back. So that's those. Spin them round nicely for you. There we go. And you can see the sides, the backs, the sides, the fronts. So this is them when they've got about three coats. And this is them when they've been spray painted black and just had dry brushing and I actually prefer them like that I am going to put other colours on them but I think that sometimes too much gold can make them look really 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 tacky and crass but that's just me also this one's base was not great so I had to do goblin green then flock it then um, put a lighter shade around the edge so that's those then we come on to my ghost haunts these guys here from issue one are now complete and i'm liking the way that they've turned out i really really am they're so cute so so cute really simply done really simply done love them and then I've got my Queen of Thorns and her attendants four at the back and the four at the back again. So on to issue seven. Let's see what we get. So here we have Storm Host Part Two. Stormcast Eternals, the rights. Of reforging. The age of chaos in the realms. The death of Nagash. Realms, the fury of the reforged. Only battle can soothe the scars of reforging. How to paint shade in their paints. So you gather them all up. Notice the griffin is missing. And they use the shade here. On them all. And then they also use Stormhost Silver, which is a layer here of silver paint, to dry brush over the figures. And that's what they should look like. Which I think is going to look interesting to use this shade like this and then dry brush and that's what they should look like afterwards interesting notice the griffin is absent from that this is what I've done with my griffin so far sort of black then white then grey for the base oh and I've also painted um, let's see if you can see it here the leaves are brown let's see if I can get one of these other dudes they might have brown. See, he's got a brown leaf here. And I'm going to get some light brown just to do the central parting of them on the leaves for detail. But that's just me. Okay, and then we've got scouring the tombs with the scouring brush. No, we're playing the game. So we've got the sequencers attack, the chain rasps attack how to play they really are doing it very well 
with all these movement, combat, combat, continue. Movement, combat, combat, continue, playthrough. Ta-da! And they've got Mortal Realms, blah, blah, blah. And then in issue eight, finally, we get a blue, Cantor blue. We get a war machine and two um, attendants. And this reminds me of repeater bolt throwers from Dark Elves in the old Warhammer days. Ugh, with the square bases. Yes, yes, reminiscence. And then issue nine, you get one, two, three, four, five figures. Two with repeater bolt throwers and two with shields and maces like these dudes. Because at the moment you should have three with shields and maces. So that will take your total to six with those. And at the moment you should have one, two, three repeater bolt throwers. So that will take your total to five with those. Because three plus two is five. Woohoo! Maths, isn't it fun? So I hope you've enjoyed this issue of Mortal Realms, Age of Sigma. Please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you for your support. Bye!